Warning, this video contains spoilers about the game's Marvel Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. If you have not completed the game and wish not to get spoiled, please stop watching now. Watch this at your own risk. Potential side effects of watching this video when I want to experience spoilers includes various multiple depression, possible denial, possible diarrhea, possible constipation, possible constipated diarrhea. Don't take the side effects seriously. Hey everyone, Brandon here, aka Brandbean. Do not ask. Okay, so if you're reading, if you read the title already, then you, I'm pretty sure you know what this is. This is a video where I talk about Marvel Spider-Man for the PS4. Did I like this game? Yes. F yes. And uh, are the graphics good? Yes. Yeah. Um, is the story good? Oh boy, yeah. Definitely. Yes. First, let's start on the graphics. Now, I'm not someone who mainly who mainly judges a game slowly based on its graphics. But if you like, you shouldn't just focus on the graphics of a game when judging how good a game is actually. But more of you should, you know, focus on the story, the originality and creativity, level, stage design, you know, stuff like that. But if you are one of those people who, you know, just judge a game based on its graphics, then either way, you still won't be disappointed. Like, the graphics in, these, in, these, in this game is simply amazing. Like, these graphics are really realistic. Like, you can see, like, a lot of detail in this. It's really good. Like, I just, I played on the, on the PlayStation 4, but imagine playing this on a PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, I'm not sure how it would look like, but I'm pretty sure it would look w much better than the PlayStation 4 normally because, you know, it's a game that was enhanced for the PS4, I believe. Next up, the story. Uh, it's magnificent, you know. Peter's relationship with the people in this game, it's good, you know. It feels realistic, like, you can definitely understand the relationship between people in this game, like, especially between Peter and the characters. And, uh, next, Spider-Man. Yeah, like, yes, Spider-Man being the main part of this game, since, you know, it's literally called Marvel Spider-Man. Playing as him is definitely awesome. You know, the web swinging is really good, as well as it is also realistic. Like, in order to actually web swing, you, there actually needs to be a place where you can attach the web to in order to swing from the web, if that makes sense. And, and like, basically, this is without a doubt what an adult Spider-Man should be in terms of characteristic or character. The only thing that kind of annoyed me is the wave of Sable Legions, but it's not really a bit bad thing since it's just difficult, and that's good since it gives a challenge. And and currently, as I still play the game, the waves of Sable Legions have gotten easier. I, I'm guessing it's because I have improved. So you know that just that just goes to show that with some practice, you will you you can get good at this game. With practice, you can improve in this game, and the game can get easier for you. And um. The bits of Miles are fun to play too. Like that one part when Miles got bit by that spider, like you probably already knew what was going to happen, man. Like, like you know, Miles gets bit by a spider, boom, brand new Spider-Man. Um, if they if they do make a sequel or a DLC with Miles, it would be cool to be able to play as both Peter Parker Spider-Man and also Miles Morales Spider-Man, both Peter and Miles basically. It could be like Peter mentoring Miles actually, and then there's also the post credits with Norman and Harry Osborn. Um, the green may suggest the green goblin and the goo, which is probably the symbiote, may suggest Venom. Uh, I really hope they do make a sequel to this game, because this game is just magnificent. And I'm not sure what they're going to do with Harry Osborn, since, like I said, he could either be the green goblin or Venom. And I'm pretty sure, at one point, I'm pretty sure in the cartoon Ultimate Spider-Man, Harry Osborn was Venom. And in other forms of media, like, and like, in the Sam Raimi movies, and The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Harry Osborn did become the goblin, or the green goblin, if you will. So, like, you know, it can pretty much go either way. Or maybe they'll do a combination. I'm not exactly sure. Um, basically, this game is just magnificent. I'm pretty sure that th that Insomniac would still do would still do amazing if they made a sequel. It would still be awesome. Uh, this game definitely deserves to win Game of the Year. Like, seriously, it actually does. Everything about this game, pretty much everything is amazing. The suits are also awesome. Like, the last stand suit is, is really cool. And so is the homemade suit. Like, when I unlocked the homemade suit, I found myself using the homemade suit a lot. Like, even right now, as I still play the game, I'm, I'm currently using the homemade suit, so that's pretty cool. And, uh, in terms of, and back, in the, back into the story, the entire transformation of, from Otto Octavius to Doc Ock, like, it happens pretty much through the entire game, and, like, you know what's happening. Like, once, once he, once, uh, once Otto Octavius uh, makes those arms that can, like, can expand like an octopus arm like you already know what's gonna happen and you know it even more when he actually does get the octopus arms um they could actually like the, the story is really good if I, I haven't already said it enough like they could probably make a movie series out of these games 
added, added this game with the story. Only thing is, like like this, if this movie, if there was movies based off of this video game, you know, people would probably know how they would how the how the story would end, since or unless they change the story, which I really hope they don't. If they do make this a movie, which I kind of doubt, since I don't know. It's good as a game. It already looks like a movie and sounds and is and like the story is pretty much a movie and it's it's awesome. Like if they don't give us a movie about this game, I'm I'm totally fine with that. Like seriously though, but if they do make this a movie, I'll be really I would be really happy because like this would be awesome as a movie. Um, but nevertheless, the story is very good. The graphics are good. The gameplay is good. If you're able to play this game, I definitely recommend it. You should definitely pick it up. It's a masterpiece. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. I like this game. Yes. Frick yes.